308 Lincoln Ave, Southwest. It's very low traffic. It's a dead end road actually, or no outlet. It's a quiet street. There is highway noise in the distance. All the surrounding houses look nice. Pretty well kept street and area. Driveway here. One concrete to the right and then a gravel parking pad. The brick front looks really good. As well as the siding all the way around the house. The siding is in great shape. And I got pictures of both sides of the roof. It's at a very slight angle, so it's tough to see it on the video. Lots of cracks in the concrete driveway. It's off, it looks good. Foundation is good, there's a few small cracks. Goes all the way down. This one's a little bigger. Backyards, kind of small. Got the patio area here. No kind of back deck or anything. retaining wall and small yard area. Shed's in pretty good shape. Roof looks good. And we back up to other single family homes. It's quiet back here, besides the highway. Both neighbors, well kept. They look, they look nice. The house looks nice and over there, their house looks nice. Siding over here looks good. Soft, it looks good. Outdoor unit. Another crack there. Fence needs some repairs. Front walkway is good, as well as the stairs. The railing's nice and sturdy. Front door, you got split level. Stairs to the right, down and up. Upstairs, this is your living and dining area combined here. which is somewhat open, pretty open to the kitchen. This is laminate floors, textured ceiling, drywall's in pretty good shape. Kitchen. Cabinets are pretty good, but the layout, probably want to open it up completely, or at least put some kind of island there. And right now there's like an inch step up into the kitchen. Straight back. First thing on your left is a shared bath. I'm gonna come back to that. There's three bedrooms. This is the smallest. Very small, small closet. Walls and ceiling, good shape. Windows throughout the house are in good shape. So the bedroom's a little bit bigger. It's still small and has no closet. Walls and ceiling looks good. And the third bedroom, the biggest, 
still not a uh, not that big of a bedroom. Walls and ceiling, good shape. And you walk through, there's two entrances to the shared bathroom, one through the master, and one entrance from the hallway. Here's from the master, you walk through your closet. It's a pretty good sized closet. And the bathroom. It's a laminate, it's fig tile. Newer looking fixture here, as well as the light fixture. This fake tile. Floors are all level. Walls and ceiling looks good. the basement straight ahead is your electric panel 200 amp panel it's kind of misplaced out of the utility room and nice a large living area here but there's no bedroom framed in ceiling heights are nice uh, they're on the drawing I forget exactly Exhaust for some kind of fireplace. There's a half bath down here. Definitely plenty of room for a full. And back door exit. And last is a utility room. Dryer hookup, washer hookup. This structure looks good here. I don't see any cracks on the inside of this exposed cinder block. Well, right there I didn't see one there. Not too bad. Just goes over to the window. Hot water heater looks good. All copper plumbing looks good. Might have been a leak there. But otherwise it looks in good shape. Um, no rust at the bottom. Sump pump. There's not the plastic waffle board around the edges, so may need to be updated waterproofing. But it is dry down here. Last before I do moisture test, is the furnace. The units don't look too bad indoor and out. Probably save them. And the duct works good. I'm a wish to reading on this wall zero. I'm moving all along this wall. It's not lighting up. It's still at zeros. There's really no signs of moisture. I'm just checking. All along this wall, zeros. So, it's pretty dry down here. And it feels like it. The sump pump looks like it's hooked up and working.